Are you facing lot of stutters and high latency in Fortnite? In this video, I will show you guys how you can fix these issues. Make sure you guys watch to the end, because some of the last methods are important to get lower input delay and higher FPS. So without wasting the time, let's dive into video. So the first thing you're going to do is go into your settings. Window mode is on full screen. The only reason I have it on windowed full screen is because I am recording right now. Have your FPS cap set to match the hertz of your monitor. Otherwise, you'll experience screen tearing. In graphic settings, brightness on 100, contrast on 1x, color blind mode on tritonope, motion blur off, user interface parallax off. Now go to advanced graphics. Follow all these settings. Put NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency to ON plus Boost. Now go to Game Settings and go to Extra Game Options. Do the same settings like I have done. Turn off NVIDIA Highlights. Set Field of View on 70 degrees. Maximum Field of View on 100 degrees. Now go to Replays. Record Replays. It is better to turn it off if you want. In Sleep Mode section. Put Sleep Mode on Never. Idle Energy Saving Off. Window Energy Saving Off. Now apply all these settings. Next, open your Epic Games Launcher and go to the library. Find Fortnite, click the three dots and go to Options. In the Installation Options, make sure Fortnite Save the World is unchecked if you don't play it. Turn off high resolution textures to boost FPS and reduce input delay. Press Apply, then click the three dots again. Select Manage and verify your game files. This ensures that no corrupted files exist in your game. Once done, close Epic Launcher. In the next step guys, open Command Prompt as an administrator and paste the command provided in the description. This will scan your system for errors and restore your PC to the best version with no issues or corrupted files. It will make your PC run a lot smoother and improve your frames. Let it run even if it seems stuck. It can take time. When it's done, your PC should be running at perfect health. Now guys, go to search bar and search game mode settings. Once you're on here, go to the game bar. This has to be turned off. Same with the captures. Both of these turned off. Also, game mode you will have to let me know in the comments about this, as some of you may not be sure. When game mode is on, Windows optimizes your PC for play. Not for all PCs, boys. If you have a good PC, you can turn this on. But if you have an older PC, not so great PC, turn this off. For example, a Ryzen 3 or a Ryzen 5, I turn this off. If you have a Ryzen 7 or 9, turn this on. If you are not sure or have an Intel CPU, literally turn this off. Restart your PC. Go on to Fortnite. Go into Creative. See how your lag is, then turn it on. Restart again. Go on to Fortnite and see which one you prefer. But genuinely, most people have this on. And it's not too great for your PC. For next guys, download fix stutters and lag pack from my Discord server. Link is in description. Now guys run this part control application as administrator. After installation, you'll see an interface where you can optimize CPU performance. Go to power profile, click the drop down and set it to bit some highest performance. This will activate all cores and threads of your CPU. For laptops, apply the same settings for both battery and plug-in modes. Click apply, then OK. The application will run in the background every time you turn on your PC. Here we got our free gear up booster FPS boost. So double tap here and now here you will find that. Copy and search this link in the browser. You have to simply copy this link from here. Open up any browser, paste the link, search, and download the gear up booster on your PC. Next, here you will find out extra 15 days free trial using this coupon code. So, guys, one of the luckiest person can claim this code for free 15 days. Here you will find this kind of interface. So now, you need to go for your Fortnite or whatever game in which you want to optimize your ping. You can go to the Games tab, and here you will find thousands of games. So, you need to go to your Home tab, and you will find the installed game automatically. Now click on this boost button, and guys, this will start optimizing the network for you with the best routing. So, guys, once you are connected with the Gear Up Booster, here you will find out this kind of region and node. This will automatically find everything for you. You do not have to change anything from here. So, guys, click on this launch game button and make sure to launch your game after launching the gear booster. Now guys go at game and search advanced system settings. You will see the performance section where you want to hit settings. Here, 
you can adjust for best appearance, adjust for best performance, or let Windows choose what's best for your computer, etc. This includes things like showing shadows under the mouse pointer, showing shadows under Windows, showing thumbnails instead of icons, and other settings. You can see, I only have a few options turned on. These are the ones that I like. There are others that you can customize. This is all for performance and smoothness. It's great for low-end PCs. I have a decent computer, and I still use these settings. Next, hit the Advanced tab. This is something we didn't cover last time, where you choose how to allocate processor resources. Set it to adjust for best performance of programs. Make sure this is on programs, as some computers default to background services. If you're playing a game or watching a stream, it will prioritize the primary program, allocating most resources to it. Now, go search for storage and click on it. I want to show you guys how to clean up your disk space completely. This is important because too much junk can cause lag and even crashes. These are the main things that help your game and desktop run smoothly. The easiest way to do this is to delete apps you don't need and other unnecessary items. Now go to temporary files and clear those out. Just come here and remove all these files. Now, simply go back and turn on this option and click on Configure Storage Settings. Set this up to run every week. It will automatically clear temporary files and empty your recycle bin. Even if you delete something, it just goes to the recycle bin and isn't fully removed until you empty it. This setup will take care of that for you. You should also do the same thing with the recycle bin delay and temporary files that are not being used. I've set it to delete files from the recycle bin if they've been there for more than 14 days. Now search for graphics settings and click on it. Click browse. Locate your Fortnite game folder. And select the Fortnite client Win60 for shipping. Once added, set it to high performance. Here's a quick and easy tip for you to try. Open Task Manager. Go to the Services tab and scroll to the bottom. Look for Xbox Auth Manager, Xbox Game Save, Xbox GRPSVC, and Xbox Net. If you don't use the Xbox Control Panel, you can turn these off. Most people won't need them anyway. If you use Xbox Game Bar for capturing clips, it's better to turn that off as well. I'll explain more about this later. But for now, just right-click on each service and select Stop. That's it. Once you're done, you'll need to restart your PC, which is perfectly normal. Small adjustments like this can really improve your PC's performance. So I recommend giving it a try. So guys, that was today's video. I hope you liked this. Hit the like button and make sure to subscribe for more helpful videos. Peace out.